Welcome back to another day here on the Winter's Lorcana channel. What's this? Two videos? Two days in a row? Uh, Winter, are you sick? Actually, no, I'm feeling pretty good right now. Before we jump into the deck, I just wanted to very quickly remind you, hey, we have like two days tops to, to vote for Winter. There's a link in the description down below. Uh, this is the place to do the voting. It loads up and then you just type in Winter's Lorcana and then it takes a second to show up and then you click Winter's Lorcana North America. If you're wondering why this number hasn't changed between now and uh, yesterday's video, it's because I'm recording this before yesterday's video goes live. So hopefully this number looks a lot bigger for you by the time you get here. Come on, vote for me. We, uh, I have a, I have a very large, <laughs> I have one of the largest YouTube followings and I think I could very easily uh, beat the 500 votes that the top voter people have. Uh, I can't do it without you guys, so oh, I, it's up to you. It's up to you. Let's jump into the deck. Today we're playing Red Steel. I have been trolling through Facebook and I've seen several uh, posts from people saying, hey, they've won uh, various set tournaments, uh, championships, the store championships. I keep wanting to call them set championships, so I'm pretty sure they're store championships. Anyway, this was one of the reported winners. Look at this, 12 unequal, that's fantastic. That's one of my favorite numbers. <laughs> Very low. <laughs> so this deck, from the looks of it, seems to be kind of almost location-based. Like, there's a lot of locations. There's 10 locations in this deck. I know my software likes to cut off the bottoms of the very bottom card in here, but here it is. RLS, Legacy, Thebes, and Snuggly Duckling. Uh, Snuggly Duckling, whenever a character with three strength or more challenges another character while here, gain a lore. If the challenging character has six strength or more, gain three lore instead. Cost two to move here. Great for Maui's. Uh, I only read it because it's kind of the oddball of the bunch, but yeah, lots of cool ones. Another interesting card in the deck that I really thought, yeah, hey, I want to try it. For each opposing character banished in a challenge this turn, you may pay two less to play this character. It's 5-5, five, five, quest for three, has resist three. Like, this pretty much demands removal. It's not going to get taken off the board by another character. At least it's not very likely to be taken off the board by another character. You could have a Maui plus a fish hook, that would do it, but like short of that, like it's very difficult to take care of this without just straight removal. But we have Jim Hawkins who's going to cheat out locations, Super Goof is going to drop down, steal us some lore, Flynn Rider is going to steal some lore, so there's like a Flynn, Maui, Snuggly Duckling thing going on in here to gain a bunch of lore out of nowhere. I'm almost surprised to not see Maximus and Gaston for the other sneaky lore theft. But a little bit of location synergy, a little bit of just low to the ground aggro questing kind of nonsensical stuff. I don't know. It, it seems like a weird list and it almost feels wrong that it, it, it came first in a store champion. So I, I just want to play it. We're just going to jump on in and see if we can't win a few. Ooh, going second. All right, let's start with something probably a little tricky. Uh, so some of this stuff I have to read because I'm like, kind of, I kind of know it, but uh, you know, nobody plays it, so it's it's a it's a little like what? Let's see, one last hope. It's a song. Cost three. It's uninkable, which makes me want to put it back just automatically. Chosen character gains resist two until the start of your next turn. If a hero character is chosen, they may also challenge ready characters. Oh, that's fun. So that's like super goof. Yeah, that is super goof. All right. Well, that's an expensive term. We're going to put you back regardless. I don't need two pieces of removal. I don't believe I could. I mean, I'm curved out for turn two right here. So probably not going to save it for Jim, but we'll keep Jim anyway. Okay. Turn two is a SME. That's a lot better. Now I really wish we had a wish we had Ooh. Okay. What am I inking? I, I was going to say I wish we had Little Robin, but looks like we're going to ink Big Robin because I don't have a Little Robin. That just makes sense. That just adds up. The math be mathin'. Okay, they inked an Ariel. You got to read this fast or, or you just don't get it. Oh, yeah, I'll take it, Captain Hook. If nothing else, it's fantastic ink. Look at Man, it's all captains on the top. 
Okay, let's... <laughs> let's do this. Should I... Should I ink this and then drop double captains? What does Thebes do? During your turn, whenever a character banishes another character to challenge, while here, gain two lore. I don't know, I'm kind of tempted to play double captains because inevitably I'm going to strike down Daisy, going to get the counter attack, and then I'll have two captains to trade with both of their characters. It's a three for one. Or I can play a Sisu who's quickly actually getting smaller. I can't play a Sisu. I can play a Smee. Smee's just going to trade. Either way, it's all trades. Okay. Okay. It's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Let's ink the captain. Let's play a Smee. Uh, I do want to challenge. Uh, I will pass. We will pass. This is my first time playing the deck. Cut me some slack. I don't like that card. <laughs> okay. Sisu's feeling good. Brawl is gone. That's probably fine. Let's see if I draw a brawl anyway. I do not. Okay. Yeah, sometimes the thing's a little busted. Alright, so I could trade Smeeze or I could double attack into Daisy. Which I probably should do. I'm going to do that. Do I play a Thebes and then move a character? Or do I play a Thebes, get down another captain? Probably get down another captain to deal with this aerial. However, Sisu is going to be more surviving opposed to a bunch of other removals that they have. Lots of interesting decision points. Not sure which one's the correct decision. I feel like this character is just a little bit better. And then we're going to challenge the daisy into the ground. And then this way, Captain is still, unless they find a way, you know, play a, a piglet, you know, our Captain Hook should still be a trade with me. Just before they have enough for a Rapunzel, so this is fine. Okay. Expected for it to sing, so it's pretty much worked out exactly as, as foreseen. We are strong enough to take down the aerial. I'm worried we're just we're gonna see a Prince Naveen here though. Like that's what's gonna happen. We're gonna see a Prince Naveen. It's going to play a whole new world. That pretty much always feels like the last two cards. If that's going to be the case, maybe I just do as much removal as possible. Let's ink you. Let's play you. Let's just get rid of that. Unfortunately, we might see a big Cindy shift. Maybe I should have taken that out. The Singer 4 just seems worse, though. But we could see a big Cinderella shift now. Potentially. Very slim, but it could happen. Alright, do we got the Prince Naveen? Whole new world? They, well, well, it's just a whole new world, but they paid for it. That's a hard cast. I'll take that. I will take that. Okay. Woo, lots of options. Let's ink you uh let's see i could i mean flynn probably just drops down and dies right and i want to take care of the cinderella i mean we just play all three let them use their removal on flynn definitely do this get rid of that the question is how likely am i gonna like what when am I going to get him set up and not just eat the removal, right? I mean, if he's just going to die to removal, maybe I just hold on to him for ink. All right, pass turn. All right, well, <laughs> that would have been removal. <laughs> okay. 
That tells me the Sisu's not going to do a lot. Let's get rid of you. Let's play a Robin of the Hood. We may as well move it. I don't think it does much. I think opponent's just going to strike it down. But that's fine. That's fine. All right, we got <laughs> shift Robin into shift Robin. I have a Maui for you though. I don't have a Maui for you. I might still have a Maui for you. I don't have a Maui for you. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I get it off the top of the deck, I suppose. I suppose. Uh, they're going just, they're so wide so fast. I can't double goof. Don't have another location. Man, yeah, I really struggled to get locations. I'm just now really realizing. Um, hmm. I could just get a bunch of stuff set up. I could. Take out Ariel as well. I need to take out both. They're both pretty threatening. All the questing though, like by the time I'm going to... I can't do it all. I think we're just going to lose this this game. It's just every turn is a turn too slow. That's what it feels like. It feels like every turn is just a turn too slow. I mean, next turn I could double super goof, but this turn it doesn't do anything. It's just, just doesn't do anything. Hmm. Let's take out the Prince Naveen. It's the only one I can take out. Gain a bunch of lore for the Thebes and the Robin banishing a thing, which is nice. Don't, like I said, don't have a location. I have a Jim Hawkins over here, but I don't have a location for him. I want to play at Robin, Hook, Flynn. Can't do it all though. Maybe I do. These two and a goof. Ink the captain. Goof at least get some damage in. It's still worth some lore. Play a goof. Play a robin. Play a Flynn. Challenge with the goof. I think we're just too slow. They could, they could virtually just quest out and the game's over. Yeah, that's gross too. And a big Cindy. There's no way we recover from this. <laughs> Absolutely no way we're coming back from that. Holy smokes. Man, no locations. I mean, we had two Thebes. We've looked at 30 cards. <laughs> that means there's eight locations still buried there. Holy smokes. Uh, let's see. I would absolutely have to remove their entire board. And then, and then the following turn, figure out a way to deal with Cindy. There's no way it's going to happen. There's no way. It's not possible. All right. It's not possible. I passed the turn. They can just quest for victory. It's okay. It's not possible. Opponent wasting time. They could just quest. You could just quest. Quit playing cards. <laughs> Alright, we're going to go into a game two for sure on this. Game two. Alright, well now we're going first. That's fantastic. Um, hmm. There is a location here. Doesn't do much, but there is a location here. I actually don't like the entire hand. <laughs> I hate every card. That's <laughs> uh, a little better. I mean, we got a nice little curve here. Okay, let's uh, let's ink a thing. Play a captain of the hook. Pass the turn. Daisy. Okay. Oh, it's fine. It's okay. This this is okay. Character with three strength and more challenges. Another character. I mean, this works with Captain Hook, doesn't it? lot going on for it but I need characters so we're gonna we're gonna play some characters 
All right, let's hope this isn't a repeat of last game and they play a SME now. <laughs> oh, man. Now, I don't think the AI is getting better as a player, but I do think that the AI has... it. I've been playing this a lot lately, and it feels like it's been recoded to draw better cards more consistently, which would be cheating, <laughs> but it does genuinely feel that way. Um, let's see. Could play you. And move a character. I think I will. Alright, let's move. Move Shmi. Which means Shmi has to be the one to do the killing blow. Believe, right? Yeah, it has to banish it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Awesome, pass turn. Okay. So far, Thebes doing doing the thing. Okay, yep. It is expected. Wow, well, okay. There's gonna be a whole new world in my future very soon. <laughs> um I mean, I'm not doing much else, right? Let's play a location that I have a feeling it's hard for them to deal with. All right, here's the tough choice. I think I could just challenge Mr. Smee, get some lore, call it a day. If I try to save him, I think my opponent just plays removal on it and it just dies. Alternatively, I'm just questing, in which case they get to keep a Smee to do something with. They're going into turn four, it's Rapunzel, so I think our best bet is to just challenge it down. I don't want them healing it up and drawing extra cards, rather than play the whole new world, honestly. Of course, it's right before we have turn five plays, but, you know. Thankfully, they can't play it this turn, unless it was Prince Naveen. Ariel's going to slow that way, way down, though. Okay, so basically what happens here? I play Maui. Maui takes out Ursula. Then they play the Strength of the Raging Fire for another three points of damage. Yeah, they could do it. They could take out Maui. Can't take out Robin Hood, though. But I am leaving myself a little bit vulnerable. Hmm, decisions, decisions. Because I could just get hit with a Zeus followed by the strength. If they do that, though, I think I'm in a pretty good position. Because then they're not whole new worlding. Unless it's Sing Sing Naveen, whole new world. Totally possible. Well, there's Naveen. Not a whole new world. We are going to see another song, though, take you out. <laughs> yeah. All right, Maui's got a target. They're all singers. How obnoxious is that? Okay, well, I like this. Let's move you to Thebes. And then you'll take out Ariel. And then I will gain lore because of it. Look at that, Maui gaining some lore. That's pretty neat. I like that. Pete. Pete could actually have an effect on this deck. Not a huge one, but it's it's there. They haven't inked and they're questing with everything. Alright, RLS Legacy is doing some work. Play Smee. Let's just because we can afford it, let's move Smee to the Legacy. Just to Give him evasive for the turn. Uh, do I want Maui taking out Prince Naveen? Mm, no. Not if there's a chance for Maui can get additional attacks. This is always so awkward, right? I think we have to take out Cinderella. Because they can potentially have the shift. But Ursula is a better singer, so... That's the one you really want to take out. Also, Prince Naveen. The only reason we avoided Prince Naveen is just because it's a trade. It's only because it's a trade. It's the only reason we avoided it.
Okay. I mean, we we win now. Quest with Sme, challenge with Maui, game over. Yeah. Okay. So so far, oh, they did have a Rapunzel. <laughs> I knew it. The, I think that's what that, that's probably what happened. This this deck probably went a couple of one and ones and some two and O's. All right, let's jump into a new deck and uh, see how well we fare against them. Mm, go first. I love the randomness. Now this here is a deck I've practiced against against a lot. So we're gonna see how well this goes. I'm gonna put you back. 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 Let's get Little Robin. Let's get Jim Hopkins. Give it to me. Okay, well, I got both of what I was looking for. That's fantastic. Oh, and a brawl. Okay. Let's play you down. Let's play you. Let's pass the turn. Let's see what we're playing against. Inked, we don't talk about Bruno. Pass the turn. Okay, so it's it's an emerald deck. Uh, Well, we don't got a lot to waste. Let's ink you. Let's quest. Let's pass the turn. What are we playing against? Emerald. Emerald, emerald, emerald. Okay, Ursula misses. I do like that for me. I mean, I just, I need to ink, right? And then we will play Robin of the Hood. May as well do some questing. Pass the turn. All right, looking good so far. No Diablos in sight. Prince John, okay, opponent is planning on making a discard. Yep, there it is. Let's discard. Super goof. I'm gonna try to hold on to these if I can. Hmm. <laughs> Challenge. Let's take out this Ursula. Now, could just play RLS Legacy? <laughs> or I can wait till next turn. Right. I think we play it because there's a chance we could top deck another location. Yeah. It feels bad. You really want Jim to play these things for free. <laughs> okay. Okay. I have just the thing to deal with you. Now, when you play this character, you may... Play a location for whenever you play a location, it may move there for free. Okay, so I'm not going to get to move for free. I think I just have to brawl down the Diablo. Yeah. Quest and just pass the turn. Yeah, that's pretty much all it comes down to. That's nice. Okay. I'm going to play you. I'm going to It's a great way to get rid of a Prince John. Resist to and if it's a hero, which Robin is, double check, sure is. Challenge ready characters. All right, we're going to give it to you. We're going to take down Prince John. Ha. Huh. Make me discard now, I dare you. <laughs> uh, let's just pass turn. I really want to keep both of them. I don't know why. I just want them both. Oh, it's resist until my next turn? That's incredible. Uh-oh, I got... I have a... I have, I have tax. It's stuck. Okay. Tax is stuck. Whatever. Let's play the super goof. I mean... I could hit with the super goof to gain two. I think I should. I think I should. It'll be fun. Gains the two. Then Robin takes it out and we gain some more. And then they're dead to RLS Legacy. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't matter what they do. They're dead to the Legacy. And the game is over. All right. Let's jump into game two. We'll guarantee I'm going second. Going second. <laughs> okay. Ooh, we found the Namari. You're going to be really difficult to get set up, but there you are. I think I kind of want to do the same thing. All right, we know we're playing against Diablo, so we have to keep Brawl. 
We're gonna put you back, put you back, put you back, put you back. I mean, I really want both of these, but they're both expensive. Neither of them do anything, honestly. I'm gonna put them both back. We're just gonna keep a brawl. I need some, I need some plays. Okay, Fire the Cannon's also good against a Diablo. Thankfully, we didn't see a Diablo. You are a captain for the Shmees. Okay, let's see if I can't keep drawing into... It's fine. He took a, he took an uninkable. That is a lot of Shmees. <laughs> Sudden chill. Is it gonna be the legacy? It might be. I think it is. It's uninkable. Like, I just need to establish a board. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, no Diablos for us. Get rid of the uninkable, right? Because that happens. Alright, we're inking you. Alright, we officially don't really have a way to deal with... Deal with Diablo. Well, let's hope we don't see it. And here it is. <laughs> no? Yeah, there it is! I freaking knew it! We don't have a way to deal with Diablo now. Okay, well, let's start with... Start with challenge. And we will challenge... First lunge at the ground. Play a me. I hate to do it, but I don't want to miss too much ink here. I do have a card you can steal. <laughs> oh my goodness. Brawl. Before they get too much value out of it. That's fantastic. Okay. Feeling decent. All right, now you're going to play the Anna and make me discard this. Beast. Okay. Now I could opt to just challenge Beast here. Hmm. I don't think I will. I think we're just going to quest still. But if I challenge Beast, right, let's leave it for a second. If we challenge Beast... We're only taking one damage on Smee, dealing three damage to Beast. Beast would basically trade with anything it cracked back on. And then they're not drawing the extra card. Actually, that sounds really good. <laughs> that sounds really good. Oh, it has to be a hero. <laughs> okay. It did sound really good, but... It's not going to happen. It has to be a hero. It has to be a hero. See, silly cards. Like, a bunch of weirdo cards. If this was real paper, I can guarantee you my opponent would be like, yeah, that makes sense. Go ahead and do it. <laughs> oh. If I challenge and challenge... I mean, we're going to get hit by a Bruno, right? That's what that's exactly what's going to happen. But if I challenge and challenge, that's minus four. Huh. That's pretty good. <laughs> Just a question of who I want to keep. I think I want to keep John Silver because he's not going to take the extra damage. That Smee's going to take if it's the one that were to survive. So now I should be able to play Namari. Oh, snap. I mean, it's just asking for a Bruno. <laughs> uh, just so you can't muse bounce Flynn Rider. All right. Looking good. <laughs> Looking really good.
Namari actually coming in clutch. Wow, 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 wow. Look at that. Look at that. That is fantastic. Namari doing some stuff. Oh, double hypnotize. That's why. Oh, it doesn't like that. <laughs> okay, so did we just 2 0? Emerald Steel? That's pretty bonkers. Emerald Steel's like really, really good. Okay, so we struggled against Steel Song a little bit. And we didn't have the best best representation of Emerald Steel here. We didn't have early Diablos or anything. But still, 2 0 ing. Like, you don't see that very often against this. That's, that's pretty good. All right, let's try. Oh, we get to go first. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's try something here. Um, hmm. I don't have Little Robin. Little Robin would be really fantastic. All right, we gotta treat this like we don't know what we're playing against. Even though I do, because that's how Ink Table works. <laughs> we're gonna treat it like I don't know what we're playing against. Let's keep you in case we see a Robin Hood or a Diablo or something of that nature. I want to try to see if I can't get a little Robin. Go with you. Alternatively, I could keep these two. I think we're gonna go for a little Robin here. Nice, we got him. Uh, Thebes could be my turn two into my turn three, but I won't be able to move him in the same turn. I don't really like how things curve out in this deck. All right, well, we're gonna do it that way. All right, now we pay attention. They just inked Tomatoa so shiny, and we immediately feel bad that we inked, uh, what's his face? Who destroys items, because this is a, this is a item deck, <laughs> Tomatoa. And we also really hate that we have fired the cannons. See, I told you, I, I can ink as if I don't know what I'm playing against. Uh, Super Goof is immediately not as good. Thebes isn't going to do anything. Like, all of a sudden, we are falling apart real hard. So far, we just know blue. Cause, uh, I saw a glimpse of red, though we're not supposed to see it. So we still don't know that we're playing against blue-red. This could still technically be blue-steel, as far as we know. But we know that you're pretty useless at this moment. Shift you down. West. Got to get our points in while we can. Pass the turn. These all suck in our hand. Now we know it's red. Now we're like, okay. <laughs> what do we do? I mean, we could pop that. All uninkables. Didn't we just say there's only 12 in this deck? Of course. Of course I have all uninkables. Uh, not that you do anything, but I will move you. You'll pass the turn. It'd be fantastic if Robin can take out something. What is going on here? Why are, am I getting all these uninkables? Sometimes, man. Sometimes. I don't, like I said, I don't think they, I don't think they changed how this thing, like it's, it's skill level. It's still the same skill level, but it's getting better draws and it act, and, it actively tries to give you worse draws. I think that's how they try to make this more difficult. Okay, so I got to go for the lore swing here. So we're going to ink you. We are going to play you. And then we can challenge it for four lore thanks to the thieves. Yep. For the lore swing. If that grandma Tala ever turns sideways. Okay, we could see a Meta Medusa here. And we do. Gross. Okay. A lot of uninkables and a character I can't do much with. Okay, we're just gonna ink it because I don't I don't have the ink. <laughs> uh it's not exactly a feel good. That doesn't feel good at all. I don't know if we beat this deck. I don't know if we beat red blue. It didn't even have a ramp. Like imagine this with ramp. There's its first piece of ramp on turn six. Wow. I don't, it's just not possible if you only draw uninkables. What is happening? One, two, three, four, five, six. Half of our uninkables in the first 11 cards. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, we play it because it doesn't do anything else. <laughs> it's not taking out any other characters. 
All right. Well, he, thanks for the ink. Uh, unfortunately, Namari gets hit with indiscriminate removal here. Which means the resist is nothing. Lucky dime. I mean, remember, opponent's gonna play cards in the worst way it can. I'm just inking here. I want I'm just gonna play Namari. <laughs> we should have a very solid chance of drawing some really fantastic ink. <laughs> Whatever the card may be. <laughs> All right, here we go. Show me what kind of removal you've been holding on to. Ice blocks is not enough, which is nice. Though ice block plus Maui means Maui doesn't die when it swings. Are you a, no, you're a villain. <laughs> you're very much a villain. Okay. Well. Obviously Lucky Dime's a problem, but like I was just saying, ice block is what left Maui do some work here. If I get rid of Ice Block, Maui doesn't get to just take out Namari. I think I quest. Alright, show me what you got. Double Maui's? Lucky Diamond in a quest. Madame Medusa takes out Benja. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's just move you here and then you just can't be challenged. All right. I have lethal in play out of just absolutely nowhere. Remember, we went first. <laughs> okay. And that's game. Namari coming in clutch. Wow. Awful draws though. Holy smokes. Just the worst draws, somehow. Okay, I'll take it. All right, now I have to go second, but now I can mulligan as if I know what I'm playing against, because I do. Okay, let's see. Uh, actively not liking anything in my hand. Let's get rid of you, let's get rid of you, let's get rid of you. I mean, I need you for Hiram. Keep a Pete. Though Pete's not necessarily a turn three play. Okay, I don't like that. That's a lot of uninkable. My goodness, deck. You just love to do it for some reason. I have a third of my uninkables in my opening hand here. 55 <laughs> cards left in the deck. I have a third of the uninkables. 33%. What is that nonsense? I have to keep you for here. Um, keep that in mind. I need to keep you for here. Um, all right. Somehow, two strength is the strength. <laughs> it wins. Even playing a here. here is not gonna do it. Okay, I'm gonna get a flint trigger. This is fantastic. Opponent got to draw some cards. Give me an ink. Give me an ink. Thank you. Save it for that. All right, we're going to, let's get you off the board. Uh, we could be looking at a Maui turn. If it's a Maui turn, it's a Maui turn. There's, you know, there's not a lot we can do about it. We won't, it won't proc the Flynn. Okay, it's a Flavorshim. Could have been way worse and we got lucky. Um, I mean, I don't got enough to move anything. I think if I just wait, I can set up, get both characters moved, and then they can start questing. There's a lot our opponent can do. Madame Medusa's, uh, be prepared. And we're just going to ink. Let's move Flynn. That should make everything else cheaper, right? Just any character? Yeah, any character. And we're just going to quest it out. We're just going to go for it. 
I mean, force the opponent to have some answers. Which I'm sure they have plenty of. There's one. <laughs> There's a really good one. So we're going to go to 18, and I'm going to play another RLS Legacy. Opponent's not very good at dealing with locations. I mean, that's not enough, right? <laughs> that's not enough. I think I'd rather just play another location and pretty much just say, hey, deal with it or, or die. <laughs> we're going to run away with this one. 2-0 red blue. That's wild. It's the locations, man. Locations are tough to deal with. There it is. There it is. That's pretty that's pretty bonkers. That's a fast game. We beat red blue pretty fast. Three minutes. Three and a half minutes to take it down. Holy smokes.